Um, welcome, everybody, to the new site of our new home that we're going to build here in the Green Bile. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on. It's insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's almost entirely made up of wasteland generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Um, and we are in the one and only very small green biome on the entire map. This is the only green biome in this entire map. So uh, if you're watching for the first time, we have spent uh, many, many episodes. I think this is going to be episode 47, 48, maybe, uh, coming out. It took us that many episodes to actually find this green biome, and it was almost literally in the last place we looked to, you know, Murphy's Law and all that, right? But nonetheless, we found it. And so uh, what I did after I left you guys in the last episode is I went ahead and actually went uh, down into the city here, and I found an apartment building, just the, you know, the... the the old style apartment building. Uh, actually, it was right here, I think. One one of these places. Yeah, maybe it was this one. And just purchased on the uh, um, perched on the roof. I don't know why I keep saying purchased on the roof. I perched on the roof uh, and just waited out the night. And you know, the zombies came. Of course, they tore the shit out of the the upper floor. Uh, but I was never really you know in any danger. And then when the morning came, we we bailed off the side you know with our nerd pole and took off and came back home. So. Uh, uneventful horde night. I did kill a few of them with my crossbow. I probably killed, I don't know, maybe a couple dozen. Um, you know, just because I had the ammo. Uh, but I, it wasn't like a, a real active defense. Also, um, just, you know, kind of by way of, um, bad luck again. <laughs> when I, uh, when I left the town to head down, you know, to the, to the city for the horde night, it was really late in the day. And somehow or another, I came down here and I got, I, I, you know, I couldn't remember that I had to turn up this way, so I actually went off this way, and I was getting chased by buzzards left and right, and, you know, I was starting to kind of panic a little bit because it was like almost, Horde Night was like almost started, and so I kind of worked my way down, you know, to the south here, and then finally was able to cross back over to get to the city, but I barely made it onto that roof before, before the Horde Night started. I had like maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds to spare. I mean, it was that close, so it was a little bit hairy, but uh, we managed to do it, and uh, we didn't have any problems, you know, once we were there. Okay, so, um, welcome, everybody, to the new site of our new home that we're going to build here in the Green Bile. Uh, so, I, I, I've i basically gone all over the place, you know, uh, there's a couple more spots that I needed to open up uh, on the Green Bile, and I, I noted all the places where I saw coal deposits, because those usually seem to be the hardest ones uh, to find, and this one actually happens to be uh, two, you know, two surface nodes right next to each other. Um, and I, I decided to go ahead and choose this location right next to this water pond here because it's kind of cool looking uh, for us to build our base. And, oh, we need to go down and check check and see what's in this, uh, this backpack down here. And we're also right next to the trader in this location too. Um, so, yeah, I figured this would be a good spot for us to do. We have the water supply right nearby. Oh, we came all the way down here for a freaking red dye. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, this is this looks like the same kind of place that you know the caves used the older style caves used to be in, but there's definitely no cave down here. So I thought I would bring you back at this point and just kind of you know give you an update on what we're gonna do. So here's what I have in mind. I don't have I don't have a real specific um idea in mind quite yet, but what I think we're gonna do is we're going to build a a house, a, a fort, base, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be a Horde Knight base. It's going to be just a normal base. Uh, but it's going to have some defensive capabilities. And what I have in mind is we're going to build something that's going to be kind of up on stilts, if you will. And then we're going to have to really uh, make sure that the stilts themselves, the pillars, um, are are very well protected uh, with spikes and eventually, as soon as I can afford to do it, uh, shotgun turrets as well. And then, you know, we will also actively uh, defend it to make sure, you know, that if we do get a running hoarding that they don't uh, actually destroy the pillars and bring the place down. Uh, so that's kind of the plan. And then what I'm going to do in the center of that place is that I'm going to make a, a little bit of a pit for the Z's to fall into. So I have uh, a killing zone area 
that I can then uh, blow them up uh, with with pipe bombs and then later on grenades and that sort of thing. Uh, I went uh, over to the trader. I'm just, you know, well, let's just keep it. We went to the trouble to get it, right? I went over to the trader, and uh, he actually had a pipe bomb schematic that I went ahead and bought because pipe bombs are super cheap to make, and they're pretty effective. And so, you know, we'll, we'll start with that. But then, you know, eventually we're going to get into grenades and, and you know, some of the higher-end explosives. That is, is my plan to uh, to do that. Um, rocket launchers and whatnot. In fact, the... Uh, the um, trader, I just threw that out, didn't I? Oh, whatever. Uh, the trader actually does have uh, an orange rocket launcher, but uh, rocket launcher, rocket launcher. But we will eventually, you know, come across one of those, and so uh, I'm not going to spend money on that right now. All right, so this is the new location. So um, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to I'm going to start clearing the ground here, and I'm going to, you know, kind of a uh, uh, excavate the the general area now this isn't going to be this isn't going to be a huge base it's going to be fairly compact i mean we're going to have enough room you know to get all of our crafting stations set up and that sort of thing so it's not going to be like scrunched but it's not going to be huge either because it doesn't need to be um remember our overriding goal is to get you know geared up and leveled up and get back out into the wasteland and to the uh, mega city so we can start to you know loot in the mega city so we're, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, my plan is to build something decent, you know, fairly nice, but it's not going to be super elaborate and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it either, but it does have to be effective uh, and functional too. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear uh, an area here and then kind of excavate the area that I'm going to have the, uh, act, you know, that I'm going to have the base in. And I also want to, let's go ahead and make a, a temporary chest to put some stuff in. Uh, I probably will not move my, my, my you know, my, my stuff off of the top of that canopy over at the gas station until, you know, I actually have a safe location over here to put everything in. But we can go ahead and put a chest down here because the zombies aren't going to, uh, you know, they're not going to mess with the chest. So let's uh, make a, a storage chest here. And I'm going to have to make room for something. So here, let's put this back down on the ground for a minute. And we'll, in this chest, we'll, you know, store uh, our materials that we're going to start harvesting. I, I, I cut a few more trees down, so I got a nice little stack of wood there. And, uh, and you know, just our extra loot. Um, I had forgotten, too. I actually found this in, in a bag, or I can't remember. I found it somewhere. Um, and we already know this. So, man, if we, could, if we could also find the handlebars, we could actually make the motorcycle without having to take the point. That's sort of kind of a moot point, however, because I, you know, I'm definitely working my way all the way up to the gyrocopter, and so, you know, we're going to have to kind of take those points anyways, unless we really, really, really luck out and find all the schematics, you know, for everything. So, um, it looks like we have the accessories schematic, so we would have to find the chassis. What about the 4 by? Do we have anything learnt for that? Yeah, so we haven't found any of the... Uh, of the two schematics for the 4x4. Four four. So I'm not going to wait to find those things. You know, we're just going to move forward because we really, really need these vehicles in order to, you know, to be as effective as we as we can be. So um, remember, there's always Grandpa's Alerting Lexer. It's 40,000 coin, but, you know, over time, we, will, we won't have any trouble at all making 40,000 coin. So it, it, when it comes down to it, if we have to, we can always mind wipe and start over uh, at that point in time. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let's eat a bacon eggs. Please don't get sick. Okay, we're not. Very good. Let's throw back um, some water. I did also buy another um, uh, storage pocket mod um, from the trader, and so I had to take my water purifier mod back out, but we don't have to keep drinking zombie tea anyways. Uh, this gives us a lot more hydration. It gives us twice as much as the zombie tea. And, you know, we're right next to water now anyway, so, you know, we're golden. We're good to go. Okay, guys, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and just get to work here. And at some point, uh, I will bring you back uh, with an update on where we're at, and we'll go from there. Okay, so be back in a little while. Don't go away. All right, guys, we are back uh, with an update on uh, where we're at. So basically, it's the next morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. And I spent the night uh, just kind of mapping some stuff out here. Did uh, started mining um, right over there. Um, yeah, right here at our uh, new coal mine. Uh, with my main objective, not so much to mine coal at that moment, but 
uh, to get some clay so I can start making a bunch of cobblestone, which is what we're doing here. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you what I have in mind here. But um, I'm also going to set some crafting stations down. And so to do that, we're going to we're going to set the land claim block down. And let's just put it right there for now, because that way I can then pick the crafting stations back up when I'm ready to, you know, take them up into the house. Uh, we're not gonna we're gonna set some forges up first, but we're not gonna actually set those up here because you know of the heat map. So we're gonna take those uh, away from this location, somewhere nearby, but not you know right at this location, uh, and set those up. And we won't be able to pick those up, you know, with the land claim block, but we'll just remake them when the time comes because they're not that expensive uh, to make. So um, in fact, I might even just might eat, well yeah I'll probably will do two forges. Uh, what we'll have, what we'll have to do is kind of assess, you know, how many, how much material we have, and if we can afford to make two and then break them later. Um, okay, so let me uh, show you what's going on here. So basically, I've decided, you know, like I said, I'm going to make this really compact, a compact base. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have um, basically a uh, seven by seven square uh, with the, you know, the outside blocks had a running horde come through last night too um being the actual wall and so that means we're going to essentially have a uh, a five by five area <clears throat> on the inside what in the hell that sounds like a spider why would we have a spider out there i don't know anyway and so i kind of figured out you know how this how the layout of this would be so basically um these blocks here represent you know our workstations or our crafting stations so what we would do is we would put a kim bench here because a kim bench takes up you know a three block uh, a two by three area uh, so that would be the kim bench there and then um what we would do over here is we would put no i'm sorry i take the back the kim bench would be in that corner um and then we would put four forges right here in this corner and then probably two uh, cement mixers stacked up. Uh, we're not, we're not going to need to be making a ton of cement, uh, or concrete rather. Um, just enough, you know, to kind of finish off this base and have a little extra, if, you know, if we need it for repairs and stuff. So, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't need a bunch of cement mixers. You know, two should be adequate for what I have in mind. And then um, over in this corner, we would have the, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember how I did this. We would have, this would probably be a... A cooking station so we'd put a campfire there and then these two blocks here would represent two workstations one for making ammunition and then the other one for just whatever else we need the workstation for right and then this corner uh, on then all along the ceiling on uh, along the wall we would put storage bins um, all the way across because this will be a three high room um, so we'd have plenty of storage and it would just be you know all along the uh, the upper part of the wall now here I'm gonna I would put a hatch so that we can go down below because what I'm going to do is this is going to be up in the air of course and I'm going to have like a little um, a, a cage if you will underneath that we can climb down to and shoot zombies that come through and then we're going to dig a bit of a pit for them to fall into as well um, and then that cage is going to have uh, like a hatch opening that I can I can throw uh, pipe bombs and later on grenades through the zombies will be you know kind of milling around down in the the pit and then the explosions will kill them remember this is not a horde base this is just a normal base but you know we will get running hordes coming through and so when we do get a larger group of zombies i want to be able to take them out fairly quickly uh, we'll also have a ladder going upwards and we'll have a second floor uh, on this little base and that's where we'll put our bedroll um, you know mostly our bedroll there's not really a whole lot else we would need to put up there but we put we'd put our bedroll up there and then, you know, be able to actually go out on the roof uh, and have a, like a little bit of a lookout place as well. Okay, and so that's kind of generally what I have in mind. Now, the outside walls, we're going to, of course, use the, the good old wedge trick. Um, and so that means that we actually would need to start, I believe we need to start on this wall here because if we want to go up three, um, let's actually, let's... I actually changed this up from my original, you know, thing. So let's just test this and make sure. So let's make some flagstone. Uh, whoops. 
Yeah, let's make some flagstone blocks. I don't know. Let's just make um tin for now. And if I, you know, if I if I get it wrong, I can I'll just break the flagstone blocks. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I think the way this is going to work now, this you know, this is going to be the actual exterior wall of the of the base itself. And so if we start um, here, what we want to do is we want this uh, to be a a wedge. Uh, this guy here. And then we're going to have to uh, let's do an advanced rotation. Got to get to where I can see it. There. Okay, so that guy would go there. And then um, let's just build that up as a... That would go there. And then the tip, uh, the tip would go up to the top there and be flush with, yeah, with our wall. So uh, that's, that does look correct. And then this, of course, would be, um, these would be the tips here. So that's these guys. Just like that. And then, you know, this, the inner, this would just be a normal um, inner wall here. Uh, I had I had mentioned earlier that I was going to put these up on stills, but actually I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to actually make walls, but I'm going to have big openings in the walls uh, for the zombies to come through. The idea being that you know with having the you know the wedge on the outside that will hopefully discourage them from trying to break that, and instead they'll come through the gaps and then they'll fall down into the pit, and we'll be you know in the middle here, and then you know we'll kind of gather them up into the pit and then we'll blow them up with pipe bombs and grenades and rocket launchers and all that cool stuff. So that's kind of really the the plan there for how that's going to work. So, um, yeah. So I'm making up a bunch of cobblestone, as you can see, and I'm going to build the initial part of this with flagstone, and then later on we will upgrade it to concrete, um, just because I have access to the flagstone right now. Plus, you get a little bit more XP when you do it that way, as opposed to just making you know the straight up concrete. So that's the plan for that. Now, um, the next thing we got to do is we have to go, like I said, we're going to make some forges. But let's run back to, oh, there is one other thing I was going to tell you too. Uh, on this end of the building, okay, so this is going to be the south end, uh, we're actually going to make a ramp uh, for our vehicle. And so the idea will be that, um, you know, we'll make a ramp that we can drive up and then we'll put a drawbridge in place. So we can drive across the drawbridge, park our, our vehicle right outside, you know, the door, and then, you know, pull the drawbridge up so the zombies can't get up the ramp. Um, so that's going to be on this end of the building. So that's the plan for that. And then on this end, oh, I <laughs> I, um, I had a little bit of a mishap, and um, <clears throat> I, I drove my mini bike into this pond, and it was a pain in the butt to get out. Um and that's why all the water's broken now. I don't, I don't know if there's like a, a command or something you can fix that. I tried to go into uh, the creative menu and spawn in some water blocks, but th it, that didn't work. So I kind of broke the water, which sucks, but, you know, I don't know what to do about it. Um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's, what's, that, well, that's why that's all messed up. But anyway, I can't do anything about it. If, the, if you guys know of a way to fix this, let me know uh, in the comments. Um, yeah. Okay. So... Let's go back to our stash uh, on the awning. We ran out of gas. And take a look and see what, our, what kind of materials we have for... Here, I'm going to cancel that because we're going to need some stone and clay for the forges. We'll take a look and see what kind of materials we have uh, for making some forges. Ultimately, I want to have four forges uh, in the base itself once it's built. We have our, um, we have no respawning loot in this game. So whenever I loot like a, a bird's nest or something, I, I'm, I'm trying to actually break it, you know, or a trash. That way I know, you know, I don't see it later and think I might still be able to get to it. Anyway, okay, so let's go back to our stuff. There's another coal. There's coal all over the place, actually. 
I've actually seen more coal than I've seen, like, you know, iron and lead, but I'm not too worried about that. I mean, you'll, you find iron and lead all over the place. So, yeah, let's go see what we have in... Um, see how many forges we can actually make. Now, we're also going to need to make, you know, the a couple of workbenches and a kim bench. Those things I'm just going to set on the ground next to the land claim block, and then we can pick them up later when we're ready to move them uh, up into the base. I just, like I said, I don't want... Well, you know, I wonder if we should actually have the kim bench elsewhere, too. That That's too damned expensive, though. I'm just going to keep that close by, and if screamers come, they come. But if we have the kim bench and forges there, then that's really going to call in the screamers. Okay, so anyway, we need um, duct tape, which we only have one of. Do we have any glue? We we don't have any glue with this, huh? Damn. Okay, well, we've got a few bones. That that might be a bit of an issue there. That might be a bit of an issue there. Um, let's stack those back together. Okay. And we don't really have much hide either. Damn it. I mean, we've got gobs of this stuff back in our, our prison base, way out in the wasteland. But I don't want to go back out there. So we might have to do some hunting. We've got plenty of pipes. At least we have those. We might have to do some hunting. Um, I have seen some deer and some wolves and stuff around to get some hide uh, to make the forges. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? We need 10 leather and 3 duct tape per forge. Yeah, so, and, you know, we can make glue in a campfire, so that's not a huge deal. Um, and we got we got plenty of murky water here, uh, zombie tea, right here for that purpose. Plus, we can get more anyway, that's not a big deal. So, yeah, I guess we gotta go hunting, guys. We're gonna have to go hunting. We could go out into the wasteland and kill some buzzards, too. That would get us bones and feathers, but it's not gonna get us hide. Of course, dogs, though, will get us hide in the wasteland. Ah, man, that sucks. Okay, well, there's nothing for it. We got to do it. So, so yeah, let's uh, let's go on a hunting trip. I'm going to leave the rest of this stuff here for now. I mean, I don't even have enough stuff to make one forge, let alone, you know, all the ones that, all the forges that I'm planning on doing. So we'll leave the cobble there. Let's, we don't need the coffee. Let's turn this into cloth. We'll keep the corn there. We don't need the coal right at the moment. Or the clay. I guess we can drop that off too. Oh, you know what else though? We could probably find some... We could also probably find some furniture, some couches and stuff. There's cobble and cement down there that we could take apart. And I think we get a little bit of um, leather from taking cars apart, too. That's the other thing. You know, we're going to have to come up with... We're going to have to find some more wrenches, um, you know, to make the workbenches. So we might have to do a little bit of looting, too. But I'd like to get a forge going first. So that that's really got to be our number one priority, because we need forged iron uh, to make some of the other stuff. Okay, well, uh, let's go do a little bit of hunting, I guess. I shot up all of my crossbows. I'm really, you know, getting kind of low on, um, why won't that go in there? Uh, getting kind of low on 762s. No, actually, I'm getting very low on 762s. Uh, we, we still got a, a pretty decent supply of 9 millimeters. Do I have any crossbow bolts in here? I must have shot them all up when we, uh, when we did the Horde Knight. When I did the Horde Knight. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go hunting with our nine millimeter because I, I don't want to I don't want to shoot up the rest of my seven six twos. But we'll just have to kill stuff with the nine. I got that bug where the axe is stuck here and I can't I can't pull it out. I don't know why the hell that happens. It's very frustrating. Okay, well let's go hunting. Oh, hunting we will go. So we're looking for deer. We're looking for wolves. I've seen a few wolves as they've driven around. Um, if we go out into the wasteland, you know, if we can find some dogs, and of course, the buzzards will give us bones. Whoa. 
So yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to drive around because they're not really going to be in any particular location. They'll just be wherever they'll be. Starting to rain. I saw something over here earlier, but that was actually quite a long time ago, so that doesn't mean whatever it was is still here. I think it was actually a dog that I saw out in the wasteland. Looks like I looted that and forgot to break it. Yeah, there's that's the dog I saw earlier. Okay, let's kill him and we can get some hide and bones from him. Come here, Fido. Okay. And then there was a couple spots that I, I saw a wolf, and I've seen a couple deer around too. So we need a minimum of 20 leather just to make the two initial forges that I want to make. Destroy that with this. Yep. <laughs> and bust our mini bike up in the process. Okay. Well, uh, guys, I guess I'm going to leave you off. Uh, leave the camera here. Cut the camera is what I'm trying to say. And just go around and do a little bit of hunting. And so I'll bring you back once I have uh, 20 leather. And uh, we can proceed with making our our two forges. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, um, I don't know, I've probably spent the last 15, 20 minutes looking around for animals, I haven't, and I haven't found a single one. And wouldn't you know it, you know? I've seen probably three deer, probably two wolves so far since I've been here. And um, I figured, nah, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just let them live for now and I'll hunt them later when I need them. Um, and I was thinking more in terms of meat, because I got lots of meat from rattlesnakes and stuff. But it didn't occur to me that I was going to need leather too, so now I'm kind of kicking myself for not sh shooting them when I have the chance. Uh, so I think we're going to abandon the idea of getting leather from hunting, and instead we're going to see if we can uh, get some leather from uh, a few POIs. So uh, I know that... Oh, there's some glue right there. Perfect. I know that the, um, you know, Zoe's Salon, at least it used to have a fair amount of leather in it. Uh, maybe it still does. It looks like they've changed it a little bit. Uh, I wrenched a few cars, too, as you can see. So let's uh, put some of that stuff in, uh, in here. We'll keep the leather with us. And um, there, there actually is a safe in there, so here, yeah, we'll put that stuff in. Okay, that frees us up a little bit of space there. Um, let's go ahead and wrench this car too. You can get leather from stage one cars. Um, looks like I got two pieces there. Okay, that was good. Should have wrenched this first before I unloaded all that stuff, but whatever. Whatevs, man. Okay, so let's throw all this in here too. Uh, 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 okay, so we got seven pieces of leather, and we got the one glue. All right, let's head on in here and uh, see if, there's another car right there. See if this place still has a decent amount of leather inside. Yeah, there's some leather couches there. A little different than it used to be, but it looks fairly similar. Sure, we're going to have some sleepies in here, too, somewhere. Let's just look over here. Bookcase, too. Uh, sure. All right, actually... I actually have one of those already. Oh, where'd that come from? Oh, lady. Oh, shit. Where's the door? <laughs> I 
Okay, let's put that down there. Look at all of you. There we go. All right. Those were the uh, beauticians in the salon here. What do we have in here? All right, we'll take some pears. We might have some Zeekers in the back, too. What is that? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a little shower head thingy. All right, so, uh, super corn. We might as well check all these things. Okay, good. I was just going to say, we need we need a wrench for the workbench, so there we go. We got our wrench. Might as well check the rest of them, too. A little coffee there. Electrical parts. More coffee. I'd like to find two more wrenches, if we can. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the leather. These things, uh, the fun pimps, uh, really nerfed to the leather that you get from couches now. I think you only get one piece. You used to get two, three, four, as I recall. All right. How much does that give us now? That gives us, um, 15. So we need to come up with five more pieces of leather to make two forges. Uh, all right. Let's go... Let's go back here. I don't want that. Uh, we can just sell that because I already know the recipe. Let's eat this. To save ourselves a little space, we'll scrap a doodle that. Uh, we don't need the cans either, so we'll scrap those. Uh, let's eat this too. Alright, there's usually some Zeeks in some of these back rooms here. Well, no, I think that'll just give us cloth. Oh, more glue, good. We need that too. Oh, it's just you. Dude. Oh, look at that. Can we close that door? Yeah. Looks like we don't need to, though. Oh, that's a biker. Okay. Get that down quick. That door is locked. Damn, will you just die? Good lord. 1,200 XP. Was that a feral biker? I think it was a feral biker. Because <laughs> I think normal bikers give 750. No wonder it took so many shots to kill him. Okay, so, uh, that goes out on the roof. Nice! Uh, when you sneak in, you always land silently unless you are taking damage, and jump height does not reduce. Okay, that's good, because what that means is, you know, if we're up high like this and we're sneaking and we drop down, um, it's not going to make any noise. So that's a nice, uh, a nice little perk to have there. Bookcase. Ooh, look at that. Uh, yep, we'll take that. Shoot, I have bought that. Okay, we got another wrench. I bought the damn, uh... <laughs> Pipe bomb schematic from the trader. It wasn't that expensive, though. I think it was only like 350 coin or something like that. So not a big deal. All right. Do we have people in here? Well, dead people. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Okay, I don't see anybody. Okay, let's check. Here's an ammo... 
Oh, nice. We need those. Definitely need those. Don't need that shit. And there's a suitcase in here. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Okay, let's um let's go ahead and just go up here and see what's up there. There never used to be anything significant up here, but it looks like they have changed the layout of the salon roof. We're thirsty, aren't we? Uh, I took my, my filter off. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. I think we'll keep everything else. How much can we sell this for? 160? Yeah. Those are worth hanging on to. Oh, we got a we got a, a fat loot box up there. Okay, good. So buzzard businessman. Too bad I didn't have my um crossbow, you know, with me for a silent kill, but we don't. So here, let's just pop him. And pop him. And we got a little mama there. There we go. She was kind enough to offer her head for us. Okay, we'll harvest that guy. Nice. I'll take that. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, ammunition and more bullets. 762 we got some crossbow those we'll try and sell we'll probably sell that uh this we'll probably sell and a magazine extender um do we have something we can put that on like maybe this awesome okay so now instead of 16 we hold 24 rounds very useful Okay, we'll take that stuff. Ah, oh, donk on it. All right. Um, we need we need more food. We might as well just eat this straight up. Might as well just eat it straight up. Now we can take this solar panel apart and potentially get some steel. But I don't have any room left. What could we give up? We could give up five jars and. Well, we should hang on to that for glue. I mean, we do have a little bit. All right, let's 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 see what we get from this much. So where's my, my wrench? My wrench! I need my wrench. Let's see if we... Okay, that's an empty can and no steel. But we did get, we get, we, we did get five forged iron, which is nice. Okay, let's grab the bones and feathers off of this dude. Where's my machete? Machete. We're going to need another slot for bones. So, you know, I got a whole bunch of pipes. Let's just scrap that. Okay. What do we drop? Bones. It probably gave us... Yeah, Let's. we don't need that right now. Let's get the bones. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're out of time. Um, so I still need... I still need five more leather. And so I'm just going to go hit another... I guess we'll just go hit another POI uh, to get the leather we need. Unless I happen to, you know, get lucky and see a deer or a wolf or something that we can kill. Um, oh, you know what? We can get leather off of this, can't we? Well, we got one piece anyway. What's this that we just dropped? Mechanical parts. Uh, 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 what would we get rid of for mechanical parts? I mean, we can come across them so... Yeah, screw it. We can come across them so easy for wrenching cars. It's just not something we got to do right this second. Okay. Did I miss some more office chairs? Yeah. 
No, not in here. That's the toity. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to continue looking for four more pieces of leather, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a couple of forges nearby our build site, but not at our build site. Just far enough away to where, you know, if it does call in a screamer, it's not going to be so close to us that we can't, you know, get to it, or that or that she can't get to us, rather. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. And, um... Uh, uh, yeah, we got oil in there. Do we have... We don't have any forged iron in here, so... How about those? Don't need those cooking pots. We have extras. All right, let's even get some leather out off of this stage one car here. Nope, not a single damn piece of leather. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to keep looking, and um, once I come across four more pieces of leather, I'm going to make the the forges and put them away from our build site far enough away so I can start making forged iron because I'm going to need forged iron for stuff and then keep working on the base and at some point I will bring you back again with an update on where we are and oh that's a brass raider we want to keep that and we'll go from there okay so guys thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.